can you take me to the moment where you knew, wait, someone's in my house and I'm in danger? And like, were you just like dead asleep, woken up in this moment? Yeah, I mean, I was dead. I was dead asleep. Uh, I, I thought I was dreaming. So I could hear a strange man's voice. And it's like my subconscious was conflicted. Like, it was almost like it was saying, don't wake up, don't wake up. And but then, I mean, it just it was relentless. And I just suddenly like my eyes shot open and my back was turned to where the voice was coming from. But I saw a flashing white light on the wall and like three red laser pointers crossing the walls and then they disappear over our bodies. And so instantly I knew like, holy fuck, there's people here. We're surrounded. They have guns. Like this is real. I mean, I, the fear, I I mean, I, I don't even know if I could ever like accurately describe how horrifying that is. And, and instantly knowing like, there's people here, they've got things set up. Like they're not just coming in to steal a laptop or something. Like this is like, what the, what is this? Why? Yeah. Did you like say anything to Aaron or were this just too crazy that you both were just like stunned, shocked, didn't say anything? Uh, I think initially we're both just in shock, like yeah. frozen, trying to register. You know, you're pulled from like a deep sleep to then – that is just as like your body has t- has to have time to adjust mm-hmm. and and then when you do adjust and you're realizing what it is uh especially with like guns facing you I mean what do you do scream what like you know you don't know what these people are here for right. what they're capable of yeah um so we just listened and then the voice just kept talking also so it wasn't really like we had time to yeah. to do anything else. Mm-hmm. He just then started saying like uh, he was having me tie Aaron up and he was going to put zip ties at the end of the bed and he backed away. And then he was telling me how to tie up Aaron's hands and feet together. And <sighs> yeah, the whole time I'm just like shaking, going like thinking like, am I going to do this right? Am I, you know, I'm just like in my head about it. Like, I, I hope I don't fuck this up. I hope that they don't, I, you know, and, and, And as I'm like freaking out internally, the voice keeps talking, saying like, you're doing a good job. You are staying calm. It was very like distinct, almost robotic. It was just so like there was so many little pieces of it that was just so hard to even process because it isn't what you would normally think, right? Like you watch true crime or horror movies and you see like this like crazy passionate violence Mm -hmm. and realizing that criminals can be patient and in control um, and planned out was like even more horrifying to process. Right. Because I get what you're saying. Like you would probably anticipate if someone was going to play it out in their mind, it would be like screaming and yelling and like just yelling at you to do things. And the Mm -hmm. fact that you're like, there was like this calmness about the situation and yet it's so hectic, but like, how is this person showing patience in the wake of like, you don't know at this point what they're going to do. When did you realize like, oh, they're here to take me? Cause I'm assuming like when you're tying Aaron up, did you think like they're going to take him? No, I thought, well, what, what did I not think? You know, I thought, I mean, he woke us up saying, this is a robbery. We are not here to hurt you. And repeated that over and over. Stay calm. This is a robbery. And okay. the fact that there wasn't immediate violence, I'm thinking and hoping, and also just to keep myself calm, like, okay, maybe this is just a robbery. So they're planning on clearing out Aaron's belongings and they're going to have us tied up. And they they put headphones over our ears and played pre-recorded messages of instructions and forced us to take sedatives. And even in that moment, like I hear the other people downstairs, I hear drawers opening, like there's a drill going. 
So even in that moment, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is just a robbery and they're just making sure they're going to tie us up and blindfold us and drug us so we pass out and they have enough time to get a clean getaway and we'll come to the next morning and then it's all over. But okay, fine, whatever, like we'll be safe. Uh, But, you know, you're still like in the back of your mind going like, you know, are are they going to torture us? Are they going to rape me? Are they going to rape him and me? Are they going to make us what? Like, you, you know, there's those stories mm-hmm. of of serial rapists doing you know so it's just but you have to like also try to figure out how to stay calm and present because if at least for myself in those moments I'm thinking if I freak out like and I lose my sanity then that's gonna make it riskier for me because I'm not clear-headed and I'm not you know like I might not pick up on some information that could get me out of this alive. So like, I just need to, I just, yeah, I just need to calm myself down, stay focused, pay attention, listen and, and see. (sighs) Yeah. Um, But the night progressively got worse and they separated me from Aaron and then brought me downstairs and, And then he came in because there was just one man who was speaking and it's the same man who held me captive. Um, Yeah, I came in and he said, this wasn't meant for you. This was meant for, and he named Aaron's ex by her first and last name. And he said, we need to figure out what we're going to do. And I mean, I'm just sitting there going like, what, like, how, like, how is this meant for anybody and what the fuck is this and then he comes back in and he says you know we're gonna take you for 48 hours we're gonna put you in the trunk of Aaron's car put you into a trunk of another car and Aaron's gonna have to complete some tasks for you to be released Hi, Daddy Gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, that was just a little clip from the episode. If you want to watch the entire full video episode, it is linked below. It's the first thing in the description. Go watch it. It's a great episode. Love you all. I will see you next Wednesday.